Hey guys, uh, got my K-Bar TDI out, figured I'd do a quick review of the uh, K-Bar TDI, which you see here. Uh, I also decided to pull out my CRKT Bear Claw, which is, um, you know, a good comparison for the TDI knife from K-Bar. Uh, very similar specs, price, uh, all the way down the line, uh, and, uh, and its utility, its function. Uh, so... I just kind of wanted to, you know, I'm not going to go too long here, get too crazy with the specs, but just wanted to get something out um, on uh, this kind of a style of knife, all right? I've had the uh, CRKT for uh, probably three years or so now, and of course my wife just got me this uh, K-Bar for Christmas. So thank you, wifey. Uh, yeah, I got a good one, guys. Uh, all right, anyway, I always like to tell people I marry up, all right, uh, because I'm an ugly Friggin' dude. But anyway, uh, I really like the Bear Claw. The Bear Claw was designed by a guy by the name of Russ Comer uh, out of Anchorage, Alaska. He's a custom knife maker. And uh, he originally made the Bear Claw on his own before partnering with CRKT. And of course, uh, having the partnership with them allowed them to really bring this design to the masses. Uh, and so... Uh, he, uh, his original customers were skydivers, things like that, uh, where they could wear this around their neck. Again, this is something that was originally uh, advertised as a neck knife. Still is, I believe. And, you know, in the event that uh, parachutes become tangled, that kind of thing, uh, they could quickly deploy this around, off their neck and cut loose, um, again, in a car for seat belts, that kind of thing. You know, it could be deployed and used in that kind of a scenario. The TDI knife from K-Bar uh, was designed by a guy named John Benner, who founded and owns the Tactical Defense Institute. Uh, and this is actually described as a TDI law enforcement knife from K-Bar. Uh, he designed this specifically for officers to use in the event uh, the officer is being attacked and the... Um, they are in danger of somebody grabbing their weapon. Uh, this could be deployed uh, to stop the threat as a secondary means of protection for the officer. All right, uh, Both are great self-defense uh, weapons, uh, secondary self-defense weapons, or very close encounter, uh, maybe even with wild am animals as an example. You know, uh, if I'm out hiking up in the wild and I'm being attacked by whatever... Okay, uh, this could be deployed, and now I've got a claw for a claw, as an example. All right, um, and so just just some different ideas there of, of the uses of these particular knives. All right, the, the TDI knife from K-Bar uh, is marketed as a, uh, a belt, uh, on the belt knife, or in the boot. Okay, so um, I think there's some videos out there. For, sorry about the shaking there, um, showing how to actually uh, wear the TDI knife and uh, giving you giving an officer a scenario that they may need to deploy in the event of attack. Uh, so um, pretty cool little system. You wear it on your weak side. If somebody's trying to grab your gun, if you're I'm just thinking if you're a cop, uh, you could lean into the gun side and with your other hand you could deploy the TDI from the weak side and come across the back side of the, where the attacker is, all right, and uh, slash away and hopefully stop the threat. All right, let's talk about specs real quick. Uh, the TDI weighs in at uh, just over five ounces. The bear claw weighs in at just over three ounces, so uh, very close uh, in weight there. The uh, TDI is a drop point type shape blade, uh, blade shape, whereas the bear claw, of course, is a hawk's bill style. Uh, the overall length for both of these is over five and a half inches, roughly for both of them. Uh, the blade lengths are a little over two and a half inches, so they're very similar in specs that way. The bear claw is an AUS-4 steel, and the TDI is an AUS-8A stainless steel. All right, um, so there are the two steels. The 
the manner in which you hold this one, and this is a straight edge version, is like so. All right, so very similar. Again, feeling like I've got just another extension of my hand. There's a nice groove here for your finger to rest. And there is some jimping, as you can see, on the handle. All right, both handles are Zytel. All right, the Bear Claw comes in at uh, $45 uh, retail. And uh, this comes in at about 57 bucks retail. I, and I mean by retail, let's go to their sites, you can buy them for that price. Of course, you can probably find them a little bit less than that at other uh, online retailers. Um, I, I could go into some other uh, things like, you know, this is, uh, you've got a, a hollow grind here with the K-Bar, and uh, you've got more of a flat grind here with the, uh, with the Bear Claw. Um, of course, visit the websites. Uh, you can get all this information directly off of the manufacturer's websites. Um, I like both blades uh, a lot. Um, I, I think that uh, in the event uh, or the overall feel of the bear claw in the hand, having this finger hole here really makes you uh, feel like you're not going to lose it in the event uh you have to deploy and use this. I also would say that the jimping that you see here is much more useful. I mean, you really, I mean, it really lets you dig in there. So I would say that that's much better than the, than the K-Bar because the K-Bar is, it's, it's on the Zytel. All right. I would have rather have seen just a little bit higher up on the blade itself. All right. Uh, they do make a, a serrated version of the TDI and they do make a straight version of the Bear Claw. I believe they even make a Tonto uh, style blade for the TDI as well. All right, so just, just some cool facts between these two knives. Uh, I actually uh, wear this on a pocket, so as you can see with a pocket clip, it can be tip up or tip down. Uh, and uh, this is the, I, I wear uh, on the belt or will wear on the belt uh, or in a boot type scenario all right and uh, so very cool I would say that in this case with the uh, with with the uh, K-Bar the uh, and I gotta do this one-handed <laughs> I would say it's much faster to deploy this guy than the bear claw um, because with one if you just see here I mean I've got one hand on this I am ready to go all right, I can't do that with the bear claw. The bear claw, and I'm not even going to attempt to do it with one hand. This really locks down tight uh, in this sheath. Now it's easy. It's it's not hard to necessarily deploy if it's in on your pocket. Uh, of course, you I need to uh, yank on it harder than the than the TDI. All right, but but it's still nonetheless. It's not. Uh, it is still an effective case. Just just a little bit harder to. To, uh, to pull out of there. Just got to put a little more force on it. I think they're both very cool knives. Um, I've enjoyed owning the Bear Claw for sure. Uh, and I'm excited to kind of carry the K-Bar around and see how it feels. Being a bigger guy, uh, you know, in the pocket, this handle is, uh, seems like it's more handle than the Bear Claw. Uh, and uh, so it kind of jabs into my side a little bit more than the Bear Claw. But uh, nonetheless, uh, I may try it in the boot as well, but uh, good self-defense weapons. If you hike a lot, you know, the bear claw is a great tool. Uh, you know, you may have a, a leopard or any kind of wild animal. You can imagine a bear. Uh, I'm not suggesting this can save your life necessarily with a bear, but man, it's better than your fingers or your hands. Um, it certainly would do some damage uh, and might uh, might help you out in, in that kind of a scenario. All right, guys, again, um, you know, go to kbar.com. You can see the TDI and the various uh, types that they have and also crkt.com. Uh, Just, uh, you know, search for the Bear Claw. And like I said, they've got the Bear Claw and Plain Edge. Uh, as well as, as you see here, I like the serrated. I mean, this is a self-defense uh, piece, so I just um, I just thought the serrated was a little bit more effective, or would be a little bit more effective. 
All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, you know, it's just one, again, just wanted to draw a comparison between these two similar style uh, defensive uh, knives. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Be safe.